Oh, I thought you were going to do the oh, intro. Oh, I thought you were... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So this Hello! is... Hello! Yeah, there he goes. All right. So users here again, and this is going to be a Windows 10 security test. So I know, guys, I haven't put a review out for a while. I've been quite busy. Same thing with user yep. business stuff, right? And computers. And computer stuff, yes. Oh, you know, that's like a whole other video right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. With, with his motherboard issue. Uh, dead on arrival. Yeah. That sucks. It was, it was a disappointment. Well, luckily, the replacement's supposed to be here tomorrow, so hopefully it'll the BIOS will flash this time and everything will work out good. Except it'll be at work. Yeah, you will. Yeah. I worked in the more day, so. I know. I work during the day. Bite me. I work. I'm sorry. I work normal hours. I know. All right. So, enough of Regis and Kelly going on here. Let's go ahead and get into the test. So, we're testing with Windows 10. And I'll show you guys right here, Windows 10 Pro. We're going ahead and using that. So let's open up the browser and jump right into it. Uh, before we do that, let's get that Process Explorer thing open, as you call it. Kind of like that kill switch thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so. so that we can go ahead and take a look at any malware that is running on the system. Now, this is going to be the prevention test of the video here. And in this test, we're going to be looking at the abilities of Windows 10 alone without any interference between third-party applications in staying secure from malware. Now, Microsoft obviously totes on their commercials. I think you've seen them on TV, haven't you? A little bit. Uh, you know, secure. This little baby over here doesn't have to worry about security. That's a I've bunch of that. horse shit, if you I, ask me. I don't think <laughs> there's so many other threats okay. besides that, besides PC threats that are out there, or, or threats that are relative or targeted towards your PC. Anyway, so we got that kill switch thing open here, or that process thing. thing. And we're gonna be use, utilizing Microsoft Edge. Now, I do know that Internet Explorer is inside of this uh, virtual machine or inside of Windows 10. If you just click on Start and go Internet Explorer, you can see right there is Internet Explorer and it is the full Internet Explorer 11. However, like I said, we're not gonna be using this because Internet Explorer is out of date, so. Go ahead and do that, but we're not going to use it, so let's just close it out. We're going to use Edge, and let's go now and get our links. So we're going to open that up, we're going to do this, and then we're going to go to the new favorites menu right here, and we're going to start with Malcode. Actually, I changed my mind. We're not going to start with Malcode. We're going to go with Clean-MX. Maybe. Maybe, but it doesn't look like it. No, no. Remember, this is the one that always takes forever to load through the VPN. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, it doesn't like it for some reason. All right. Now, do you want, I guess I'll let you take over here. Okay. Go can ahead I, and clickety click click. You can probably maybe move Can I make this bigger? Or do I need to keep this up? You, you got to keep this up for the techies. The techies want to see okay. that. Okay. All right. I don't know what it means, but all right. I know you don't know what it means, but the techies do and I do. Yes, man, fun. No, do not start up. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> It's downloading already. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where's Mike? He probably would like this. Who? Mike. What are you talking about? You got like really short term memory. You know Mike? From from the Windows technical support video? No. That was his name? Oh! Yeah. Ding! There's the light bulb. Yeah, Mike. Like that. that was his name. Oh. Okay, so hold on. Did you did you read what it said or did you just click? I just You're, clicked. I got Christ. scared. It's like a freaking typical <laughs> user. Well, that's a good thing actually. Oh, it means it blocked it. Basically, that it's just saying that Windows cannot access the specific path that was. So then, closed. would it be a block or would it be a miss? Because technically, it's oh, actually block no, it's event. saying it's not. It doesn't have break permissions, but yeah, so they technically blocked it. So if you go over here, um, yeah, and I'll put uh, block. Okay, so now. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Okay. Do this one now, the top one. I want to see that one. Oh, well, that was hmm, We can't reach to this page. At least it's better than this page cannot be displayed. What about refresh? That that won't work. Oh, I just well, thought maybe, maybe, maybe it would work. Oh, my God. Oh. It did. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I did something. Yay. Yay. All right. It's loading, though. Right. Running security, security scan. scan. And... So now a lot of this is smart screen filter. So now it says set up, the yada, yada, yada. is not going to like download. It could be harmful to your computer. So now you have two options. You can delete or run. Did you click a run last time? Yes. I think you did, yeah. So now, if you obviously read this. It would, I wouldn't do it. You would click 
delete. I guess, yeah, I don't know what you'd click, but you just click whatever you'd click. But I mean, I would. For yeah. the sake of the video, I want to see what happens. Windows Smart Scan. Okay, Can't now now I'm going to say you got you to gotta click Don't Run because now you've got two layers of security. This is the smart screen filter built in with Windows now. Okay. That's alerting you. So before it was just saying, hey, this is not commonly downloaded. Now it's basically stating a Windows Smart Screen Filter is unreachable and cannot decide. Oh, okay, so why can't it reach Smart Screen Filter? Okay, that's weird. Um, what do I, what do I so it's like Don't Run. Yeah, because okay. it's an unknown publisher, so... Uh, okay, so that's interesting how it can't reach smart screen filter. That could be an issue with uh, Windows. So, but nevertheless, let's say two is blocked because okay, three is blocked also. Well, no, hold on. Let me let me refresh it. For whatever reason, we got it. Yeah, I'm gonna check my uh, internet here for in, in a second. My internet's been going fluky too lately. Like I, it'll randomly cut out on me. Well, that Running might security be scan. AT and T. Okay, it's finished oh. downloading. Okay, cool. Yay! So I click run. Okay, hold on a second. I want to check something. Oh, oh hey, yes. I don't know what it is. It says it's unknown, but I normally yeah, don't do I it. Yeah, I guess this is this is just user account control. So yeah, yes, and we got a console. Oh, Ooh, it's preparing. We got, oh, preparing. Dot dot dot. Please wait. That's your cue. It's gonna say be, dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. It's gonna be porn. <laughs> if it's porn. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> uh, Where's Mike when you need him, right? Whoa. If we get another number, should we call it? What do you, what do you mean? You remember, you remember? Like right in the middle of the test here. Yeah. I don't have any burner numbers. I thought you got more. No, I haven't bought oh, them. Why not? I don't just wake up one morning and think, I'm going to buy some burner credits. Well, you should. I don't know what it's doing. So we're going to continue. So number three is missed. Because I'm, I'm sorry, that, yeah. that's, that's doing something, and I saw it execute a whole bunch of code, so that's definitely missed. So, all right, number three was missed. Let's go into number four. And let's now we can always give this, move this out of Yeah, you can just all screw right, that. Well, don't put it, like, so we can't see exactly what's going on. But Okay. Well, don't put it in front of the techie stuff. <laughs> all right, it's there. There, are we all happy? No, no. Are we all happy because it's there? A little box creates so many <laughs> issues. Okay, great. There. Just just don't touch it now, okay? You, is everyone going to be okay? I don't know. The comments are probably going to be very angry with the preparing box now. I would have liked that video, but the damn preparing box just kept getting in the way. Okay, what are you, you going to click on now? This one. Ooh. Oh, it's Japanese. Oh, shit. Here we go. Sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, my God. Okay, so it looks like that just says it finished downloading. So, great. My new KM... Wingdings. Yeah, wingdings. Those aren't wingdings. That's Japanese. I know, but but to us, it's wingdings because we can't read it. Okay, so this looks like it's digitally signed. This is the most likely adware, guys. So, we're going to go ahead and, I guess, I don't know, click what you want. Oh crap! Not this one again. Mm, oh, this Haven't one, we had this one before? This is just yeah. Like I said, it's most likely AdWord, and it is. It's just, just a close. whole. Slew. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you can run it, but obviously Windows is not going to do anything. So, go over to number four on my list here, and we're going to mark that down. Is a miss. It's a miss. It's a miss. But as you know, guys, AdWord is very difficult to detect. We'll go to so... a different website because these are all about saving. Yeah, these are don't, from don't, yesterday, aren't they? Yeah, I was going to say, good idea. Try to avoid your. Oh no 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 no! Sorry, sorry. sorry. These are, aren't these from like yesterday? No, not necessarily. Oh. I just I was gonna say try to pick ones with different URLs. So yeah, that's what I mean. They're all the yeah. same. But that's these are I'm... yeah. So let's see what we got down here. So, Give okay, me so, clip. Oh, I thought it said something else. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, click on that one right there. This one? No, one below it. This one. That yeah. one. Yeah. Sorry, I went for the tackies. Oh, okay. it blocked. It's not commonly downloaded. Now, it didn't block it. It's just saying that it's not commonly downloaded. So it could be good. It could be bad. It's it's kind of your decision. But I would say it's a if I saw something like this and I was just kind of downloading something to test it out, I would definitely hit delete and I would definitely put it in a virtual machine and do it first. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd advise people to do. If they ever get a message like this, to just delete it. So. Yeah. And obviously, I think if you saw a red box like that I yelling would, at you, you'd be like, what? I so, I guess just... 
Oh, it blocked it. Well, yeah, so it can't be reached right now. So I don't know why Windows Smart Screen Filter is not... So do we say it's a block? Yeah, I would call that a block because it, it definitely did prompt the user that it is a unsafe file. you got to click it again probably because we were clicking on things. Miss? Or do we not... Well, that's actually... That actually, I believe, completed and brought us to the site. That's not Windows. But there's no site. It's kind of like this one. There's nothing but there. But that's... Hold on. So what to be dead? Let me see. If you th if I don't think know how to do it, it in, in, in this here. Let's see. I'm thinking it... No, I'm thinking it completed. Oh. It's connected to that site. Now, this could have been an exploit earlier, meaning that what they'll do is they'll try to trick users, like you were tricked in a sense. Um, actually, maybe this is... See, I'm not too used to Edge, so I don't know all of their... But essentially, guys, if this was an exploit at one point... What they'll try to do is they'll try to trick the user into thinking that this is just a, the page couldn't be reached. And then yeah. they'll just sit here. Well, in fact, that the exploit is hard at work right now trying to find an exploit within your browser or within your system. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, I don't know all of Edge's error prompts and stuff like that. So this could be related to Edge, but it also could be legitimate and Edge saying that it literally cannot get there. So what I can do to find that out is let's do this. I just thought of something here. Let's open up a command prompt window, and then we'll go ping. All right, so it could not find the host, so you, that is a legitimate prompt then. Huh. So that's how I can figure that out. So it basically so not going to work. Um, I'll try it one more time, and I'll try to get rid of uh, some of this gobbly goop here. Okay, not right. Oh, because I forgot ping. That, that would do it now, wouldn't it? So let's get some of the appendages going there. Same thing. So yeah, right. um, definitely that one is dead. Okay. So. Uh, so do we not even count it? Yeah, we no, don't even count it because it can't okay. reach the host. So whatever it was, it didn't do a thing. It wasn't. It was just not didn't do anything. Okay. What do we got going here? Running security scan. I moved the mouse so everyone can relax. We're <laughs> probably typing like, oh, it's damn it, user! What are you doing? Oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, okay, so that one finished downloading, question mark, question mark. We're going to run, question mark, question mark. Beautiful. Oh, my Japanese. Air launching installer. So maybe that would be a block or a miss? Or... I'm going to count that is... I'm going to count this as a miss. Just because I did see it pop up in the mm -hmm. ex process explorer, meaning that it did have time to execute. Okay. I think that was the program that ended up crashing not necessarily the but i do think after this one we're gonna okay let's close out of this and we're gonna go to a different site now let's go to vx vault uh, click the middle one. no not that one oh no, crap no, the middle the, the, the this. One. there you go yeah all right we need to go to here vx vault yeah all right huh. 24th yeah these are brand new so this one try clicking them i think you have to copy and paste them then we'll see yeah these ones you got to copy and paste. what about just down the file you can try it, but I just like to go to the URL because I think. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll cut. Oh. oh. Yeah, copy and paste the URL. That's that's the problem I had with these. So you just kind of got to. Here, do you want me to quickly? Yeah. I'll yeah, just, just do these because they're kind of. All right, so let's copy that and then paste that and then type some more junk that we don't need. And there we go. Okay. So it's downloading. Security scan. Oh, there we go. So Smart Screen reported the file as unsafe. So it's so. It's, so that means that in it, this case, it doesn't even have an option to run because huh. it's saying that it, it, it knows it's not safe and yeah. you want to just delete it. So there we go. Number seven was blocked. That's good because this is real time malware. This was released just today, and yeah. they already have a signature for it. That's good. So let's go ahead and we'll try this one. It's from the same URL, but. I'll give it a chance. It's a different file name. Now, obviously, they could just rename the file. Um, it blocked it. Unsaved. Download has been blocked by Smart Screen Filter. Not even an option to delete it. It just outright blocked it. Mm -hmm. So that's a different level right there of Smart Screen. So we'll go ahead and block. That was blocked. Okay. Um, let's try this one right here. Oh, no. that's a, We'll try. Try that one. It'll look yeah. shorter. We'll move. Well, that's a different URL. I know, but it might be short and sweet to the point. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. oh okay, oh, there blocked. we go. So the site's already been taken down. 
However, Smart Screen did list this as an unsafe site. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to consider it a block just because that's good to see that it was able to, to detect this. What about like? We'll try this one. This is a, this is not a domain site. Okay. This is a direct IP right here. So you don't need DNS for this one to be resolved. Um, so sometimes web filters have a difficult time figuring out, can list, difficult time listing those. Mm -hmm. However, smart screen has detected the file is unsafe here. Oh. Huh. So that means that it is blocked. Okay. Um, so that's 10 links right there already. Wow. Huh. Yeah. And then this thing is still just doing, doing whatever. It's yeah, preparing it might nothing. not be compatible with Windows 10. That could be the problem. Okay. Um, however, nothing is apparently running in the background. No. Which is really good. I mean, we, yeah. we ran a lot of, we ran 10 links with no antivirus, just the security that Windows provides yeah. internally, and that's it. And we have no malware whatsoever. So maybe you don't even need antivirus on your computer, right? Maybe. Maybe you just your brand new computer will just throw there on you go. it. And there you go. go. Yeah, no yeah. antivirus, right? So, all right, let's go ahead, and now what we're going to do is, well, let me get my criteria open, because I feel like I'm missing something right now. Um, there we go. Because this is obviously the pre prevention test right here. Yeah. Now, nothing got through, so I don't see a reason to scan here. Um, zero day. Okay, so we, installation configuration, we didn't do that, because... And that's also, guys, the thing, too, is it's a little bit different because we're testing an operating system. We're not necessarily testing a program here. So we're in the 10 malicious links. Uh, nothing visible in Process Explorer. Um, I guess I'll show you guys here what we got. So we got three that were missed, and then basically eight were blocked. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So um, on a threat scan with Malwarebytes, we have no need to do that just because... Um, Essentially, the, the oh, never mind. See, it's been so long, guys, since I've done this. All right, that's how I do this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and extract the malware from the folder. But before we do that, let's go ahead and try to kill this thing up here. So, <laughs> what could this be? Is it box? It is a box. Well, that's what it is. You asked what it was. So I'm I think it's this right here. Hey! Yeah, you did it! First try. Why'd you kill the whole, <laughs> just the whole, the whole virtual we, machine? Just crashed. You get a frowny face. <laughs> it's a freaking frowny face. All right, so let's close that up because we don't need that anymore. And then, oh, a calendar. Oops. Hello. Uh, let's go to Windows Defender. And then we're going to go to Settings. And we're going to disable the real time protection temporarily. That's just so that we can go, thank you Windows for letting me know. <laughs> That's just so that we can go here and extract, extract this it. stuff. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. That's what happens when you type in the wrong password, guys. <laughs> Fail. Let's try this again. Hey, there we go. There it is. All right, so we're gonna take a look at what we have in this folder malware-wise, and then we're gonna go ahead and scan it. So we have 389 pieces of malware in this folder. This is malware that oh. was, I think this is a day or two old, but no older oh, than two okay. days. So less than 48 hours old, it's good to see. All right, so we have uh, 389 samples. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can scan this with Windows Defender here. So let me, I don't know why I closed Windows Defender. Okay, can we do a custom scan? Yes, we can. So let's do a custom scan of that folder. The desktop we have to go to. Which would be in do? Documents Hour Users, that's what it is. Okay. I've still got that like there we go, desktop malware. Okay. So we're gonna scan the malware folder. So item scan, uh, preliminary results. So it's saying that it's detected potentially unwanted software. Huh. That's good. Yeah. And we'll see how fast the scans are, too, because I know Windows Defender in the past has always been really, really slow with scanning. It seems to be going fast now. It really does. And if it's actually detecting the items in real time, that's pretty good. But you turn that off. Well, I mean, when I say real time, in a sense of some programs oh, yeah, okay. will scan, but then they check the hashes online or they oh, cross okay, okay. with them with 
yeah. cross reference them with their signatures and okay. that can sometimes take a little bit more time okay so that's my point if sometimes it'll be oh it's done scanning but you have to wait in there 15 minutes for it to finish it's, identifying yeah. yep so if it's doing that great if not well and now it seems to be slowing down a little bit because we said something yep that's that's exactly it you know so it watch pot and watch pot never boils right sure yeah you ever heard that no well, you did now okay i guess so yeah you never like sat there by the stove because you're so hungry and you're watching waiting for the water to boil it's like oh come on no wow sorry <laughs> Okay, there we go. Malware detected. Windows Defender is taking action to clean detected malware. That's really cool. 132 so, potential threats on your PC, but we had 300 something. Yes, we did. That's a pretty shitty. In this 200 if, things. Yeah, if this is accurate. Sometimes these numbers aren't always accurate. So we're going to go ahead and clean PC here because it says, well, let's show detail. Let's see. Okay, here's what it found. Okay. Um found quite a bit and a lot of stuff salad tea that's a pretty nasty piece of malware there okay um, can we do all I'm gonna remove all fly selected action see we used to be able I thought there can we select all of them oh, let's see if we can. Uh, we gotta go through it all oh, oh no, there no, you go no, oh, wow. no, I don't want oh, wow. to wow yeah Okay, well, I guess what I'll do is I'll just click the nice big clean PC button right here. Okay. And we're going to see what it does. So. This may take a few seconds. That's Bill Gates talking to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, my only concern about cleaning it is it might not remove the whole file. In that case, that would affect our results. So you're saying we should have went through and removed all of them? That would take a long time. That would be a lot of editing. A lot of editing but we will see so if the numbers look good in the sense of relative to the 132 I'll let it slide but if it detected something like three yeah percent then I'm gonna say no that definitely is not accurate all right well we may have to pause the video here unless you have any interesting stories you want to tell the uh... I'm not mad at Asus anymore so that's a good story oh, yes that's, that's a good story yeah yeah, he was very, he was texting me very angry. Oh, you texts. were too. Shut up. No, no, well, not, not really. No, not really, but you weren't as angry you were, as you I were, was. You were mad. Are you well, yeah. Do you blame <laughs> me? <laughs> oh, shit, my mother motherboard. Do you blame me? That's how much money I spent? Yeah, you gotta wait a week. No. Yeah. And you should... were mad, it was like, you were mad last week, three days after we ordered. It's not even here yet. Yeah, you're right. I was mad. Like, you gotta give him. What do you want him to do? Fly it right over to your house? Yes. Yeah, you probably yeah. would. <laughs> Amazon can do it. It still can be. Damn it. Get on board, Asus. Buy some drones. Uh, and legally go next to airports that you shouldn't. I some people are doing with them. Oh. I going. Sh should I start doing that with them? I mean, if you want to, then you can probably get a fine. Oh. And then the FAA will come knocking on your door. Yeah. It's about what they sound like when have helicopters buzzing your house. <laughs> what's, what's that noise outside? <laughs> you shine a spotlight in here. And... All right, I think we're going to pause the video here. It's, this is taking long, a long time. So, All right, guys, when this is finished and we do one more scan just to make sure that it didn't detect anything else, we'll be back with the results of the scan, and then we'll go ahead and run some of this stuff. Alrighty. So, yay. Woo! All right, be back, guys. All right, everyone, so the scans have finished, and I did a couple more scans, and the system is now coming up to the point where it's not prompting me anymore to remove malware, essentially telling me it's clean. So, let's take a look at what it has detected. We started off with 389 pieces of malware. We are now up to... We are up to... 19. 20. Nope, it's still going. Oh, oh snap, crackle pop. If it says under 100, I would be very surprised. It, why is it taking forever, though? It probably is actually scanning them, that's why. Oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yep. There's a number. So now it could be because it cleaned them, like I said. However, I'm going to do it anyways, the calculations. Oh, it stopped. It's under 100. What? No. Oh, never mind. I jinxed it. Now we're detected. See? Yeah. So it's actually still detecting some malware here. Yeah, it isn't, um, let's see what happens when we click this. Or being clean, no actions required, okay. 
So that's interesting. I actually did a scan with it, as you saw, but now yeah. it's still detecting more malware. So um, that's not necessarily a, a good thing. I mean, it's good that it's detecting the malware. However, yeah. it, it really, I would like to see it detect it faster instead of in, in stages like this. I really don't like programs that do that. So nevertheless, let's take a look at what it has found right now. So let's break out our calculator here and take a look. So we started off with 389. And then we're going to take the 287 away from that, divide that by our starting number, which is 389. And that gives us a detection rate of 26%. Or user, you want to say? It'd be 30. What? <laughs> yeah, you're rounding up. What kind of math do you do? <laughs> Sorry, you kind of put me on the spot just out of nowhere. It's t well, you round it up, it'd be 27. No. Are you stupid? Um, no, that's how it works. That? You can't round that up because those are twos. It was always five or higher. No, you all these right here, you, you round this up to a whole number. The nearest oh, whole yeah, number? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Sorry. My brain went... <laughs> yeah, my brain goes too much. Kind of like the guy in the courtroom. Uh, really, you just showed me that video right in the middle of our video. <laughs> Okay, so 26%, where does that leave us? Uh, basically, it leaves us in the 20 to 51% category, which is not acceptable. No. Uh, and in fact, that's pretty close to the seriously yeah. category. So that's not good at all. But that doesn't surprise me because it is a Windows thing. Like, I've always noticed the default stuff from Windows. It's just like, oh, oh yeah. we'll throw it on there because that way the old lady down the street will have security and she'll feel secure. That's all it's for. We're not stupid, Bill Gates. That's all this is for. And I, and I hope you're fresh, watching. As you can see, it's still at 387. So uh, as for what Windows Defender has, has done, it said it's clean threats. Um, it didn't do shit. Well, I guess. No. Well, now hold on. Remember, it cleaned them, meaning that the files are now rendered inert. So, well, the detection rate may not be good according to this. It might actually be better due to the fact that it didn't remove the files. And we're counting just the files. We're not counting if they're malicious anymore or not. Oh. So the way to now tell this is to actually see how well is it able to block malware that is not known to it or see if this even runs. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start and just click on some malware and run it. Okay. See if it works. Because if Microsoft has as good of detection as it Says Should. it does. Yeah, and it removed as much if as it did. Leave, if you can leave it with an infant, and it'll be secure. What was that number it said it detected? 132? I don't know. I've never seen the videos. You no, just no, 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 no. The, the, the number that was on this when we first uh, oh. deleted the log. I should have not deleted the logs. Anyways. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think it was 100 and 132. Oh, I don't remember. I was too busy showing you a guy farting in the courtroom. <sighs> That's, that's what we do when we wait for yeah, scans. Yeah. Well, that's what you do while we're waiting. You it keeps you entertained. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, it does. All right, can I click? Uh, you can click. All right, let's that. do this it. This is a techie versus user. They complain that I don't do enough. Well, you've had to click that one seriously. What? It's green and yellow. And it's Ooh. Japanese. Oh. Oh, hey, there we go. Can okay. I verify the digital signature? Okay. So that worked. Do do do. Okay. Do do do. Should I wait? No. You can, yeah, you can go on to the next one. Oh. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. Do do do. Nothing's popping up. Well, this is boring. It, 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 I'm I know over, over there. there. Yeah, it's, you guys. That's entertaining. That's how you can tell if do it do actually do. is working or not. You want to scroll down a little bit? In, no, 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 not in there. Sorry. There we go. Where to? Like here? To where the malware is. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> do do do. Try clicking on something without that icon. Because it, it might be some duplicates. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Click, except now, continue. Alrighty. This is what you've been waiting for. Yeah, I know. Please wait. Set, Set up will continue ooh. in the background. Ooh, that's cool. 
fancy. So fancy. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Faraday's bar. Oh, click on those anymore! <laughs> okay, fine. So this is, it's just the same Jesus damn Christ. thing. You're not going to yell yet. That's not yelling. Do do do. You're going to go to work tomorrow doing that, aren't you? No. Because by the time I get to work, I'll be upset. Scroll more. Uh, oh. Just a viewer. It looks like an event viewer of some sort. Oh. Scroll. No, no, no. Ah! I know. <laughs> you got like, you got 287 uh, files to go from, and you're like doing the same ones. You already did that one. There's a code on here. Oh, right. Gosh. You don't have to yell. Well, sometimes I do. Malware detected. Holy oh, shit. Oh, it stopped something. That's amazing. No action is need or no action needed. Oh wow, thank you, Bill Gates. Even though Bill Gates hasn't done, had anything to do with the company since like the early two thousands. Oh really? Oh, I thought he still ran it or whatever. No, he hasn't ran it for years. So who does? Did um, well, Steve Ballmer used to. He drove it in the ground. Clearly, I got my names correct, the guys. So don't shoot me if I did. And then I forgot the who the new guys right now. I like what he's doing with obviously Windows ten here, Doo -doo -doo. And, and the whole company in general. I think they're moving in the right direction. Especially giving a uh oh, a problem was found. What do you see? It wants us to restart, so we'll have to restart um, when we're done running these links here. Yeah. Or these, these files. Uh oh. Malware detected. We have malware. We do. Confirmed good. malware running good. in the background good. here. Good, good, good. That yeah. is good. I okay. see it break it. Well, it's not good, but. What's good for this? Uh, Windows Media Player. Oh, you're gonna run it. Yes. Uh oh. What? What happened to my process explorer? Oh, oh shit! Play again. <laughs> what even... happened to my themes? So hold on a second here. Hold on. You go. You can close that out. It, it did. It did. It, it dropped its payload. Do you notice something? The fact that the colors have changed? My my themes. Oh, shit, everything has changed. My theme has changed. Now, is that the actual theme, or is it... Oh. Or did it break something? It broke... It got I, in somewhere. I think it broke something. Because now it looks like Green Man. It does. It's got, like, a disease now. It's sick. Let's try and change it and see what happens. Sick. Oh, it, okay, it, oh. Did, it did just change the theme. Oh. It looks like. Okay. Cool. Interesting, but it did definitely get in the system. Okay, we'll just keep moving on a couple more of them here. That's cool. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. See, now you got me doing it. Ah, <laughs> yes. Now all everyone's gonna, all the fans are just gonna constantly hear us going, you know, do do do. <laughs> That's good. They're gonna hate you for that. They'll be watching this and in your sleep you'll be hearing Windows user prompts and user account controls and your head. Doo -doo -doo. That's my favorite part so far. Uh oh. No, I don't uh, okay, say my con. Oh, that one looked cool. Ooh. Oh, oh dumb. Okay, we'll do a couple more here and then call it good. Do -do -do. Okay, we're done after this one. <laughs> can we do one more so I can go do do do? Alright, one more. If you, if you can find one that goes do do do, because I know oh. which ones will go do do do. Oh, that one didn't do it with a dud. Oh, that's boring. Uh oh, oh. It, it's I opened something. I can see it running in the. the... Do -do -do. Okay, great. I want to see if that's malware now. Okay, so it looks like it is actually. It's saying it's not malware. For some weird reason. And we actually don't have any more malware running on the system right now. Oh. Which is very interesting. However. However. 
we are going to go ahead and restart like it wanted us to. Yep. In order to finish removing the malware. So yep. we're going to go here, and we're going to go power, and we're going to go restart. After the computer is rebooted, I will go ahead and start our scans with Hitman Pro and Norton Power Racer, and we're going to go ahead and see what's on this system. If there is anything on the system, I'm betting there is. I don't know yep. what user you're betting. Do do do. Okay, yeah, he, he's 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 done. User is like <laughs> just all turned to mush tonight. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, Windows 10 is is just. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we will be back in just a few minutes here. Alright everyone, so these scans have finished, and as you can see, Norton Power Racer has come up with the same thing pretty much as Hitman Pro. Quite a bit of malware on the system. However, Hitman Pro gives us more of a breakdown in the sense of how bad the malware is. Uh, starting off right here, we have a Trojan that is start to, or set to run with Windows, and that's not necessarily good. So that's, that's definitely infection to worry about right there. Uh, however, these are just riskware, so that's kind of in the adware category. Not necessarily anything to be too concerned about. Obviously, you don't want it on your system, but nevertheless, it's not the worst thing you can get in the world. This one is not running. This one is just sitting in the downloads folder, so that one can easily be deleted by just navigating over to the downloads folder here, which I'll show you, and then you could go ahead and just wipe all this stuff out by simply deleting it. Pretty simple. Yeah. So not too much in the way of issues there. Uh, scrolling down, we do have a couple more Trojans and some malware. However, as you can see, these are in the download folder, and then this one is just in the temp folder. Clearing out the temp files of the program such as CCleaner would obviously get rid of that quite easily and, and that would not pose a problem anymore. Uh, and once again, more just riskware. So all around, uh, this system is not very infected at all. Um, despite the theme change, yeah, uh, that's basically the most intrusive thing I've seen uh, so far that I can at least tell you uh, visually about this system. Uh, let me quick check Process Explorer and we'll make sure nothing malicious is running in the background. Um, however, to change the theme, obviously, you just go here to Windows. We click Windows Default. And, and you can see we just reverted back to the the original theme yeah. of the system. Uh, looking in here, nothing too concerning right here. Uh, I, I don't know if that's a legit error opening process. I don't know if that's related to any malware or not. Um, I think that was there before. Uh, don't quote me on that. Keep in mind, I'm still kind of new, guys, on the Windows 10 process. I haven't studied them too much. Um, so I can't tell you exactly which ones are meant to be and which ones aren't meant to be. Realistically, all I'm doing is going off of the virus total results, which are not working right now for some weird reason. Thank you, virus total. Yay. Um, so I don't know if that could be something related to my virtual machine here. Um, let me try just reloading it. Maybe that'll work. Sometimes, for some reason, Windows 10 does that. So let's see if we can get it to work this time just to verify that there's nothing yeah so it's not gonna work this time but um, for the most part these do look fairly uh, benign in the sense of I don't see any malware on this system running currently all right um, bottom line then with Windows 10 and its security I don't how do you think it performed I kind of good and, and you know what and I have to agree with that for being just Windows I think it did pretty well. Because like um, I said earlier, it's normal that they just throw something out and say, oh, it's good enough, you're going to add your own anyways. Exactly. And and quite honestly, I would still recommend using a third-party well, application considering what's out there. I mean, personally, I run Komodo on my Windows 10 operating system right now, and I will continue running them because if Komodo is running on the system, those infections wouldn't have gotten through. Uh, they would have gotten isolated within the sandbox, and then I could just reset the sandbox and everything would be fine. So that's realistically why I would stick with what I have. But for someone who's using a more average-based antivirus or anti-malware solution, um, can't really think. I mean, it still is kind of on my bottom, bottom of my list here. Yeah. Um, but for someone who has a computer that isn't going to necessarily go to a lot of foreign sites, and when mm -hmm. I say foreign, I mean doing a lot of Google searches. So if you're yeah. going to use it just to go on Facebook, uh, and not YouTube, click on any links. Email. Well, and Facebook is kind of iffy because obviously there's external links you can click on and yeah. get malware. Yep. Your mom proved that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, as long as you can stay on sites that are safe. So YouTube is a safe site as long as you stay on there, don't click on any external links. Um, things like that. Uh, that. That's pretty much, I guess, where I would say Windows 10 security would fit in best. However, as we did see, there are other 
forms of security such as a smart screen filter that did very well in a sense of protecting the system when it comes to running malware. And that always will stay activated from, my, my, from what I know, even if you run a third party application on the system, which is nice because, well, quite frankly, it's an extra layer of security. So whatever you run, you're always gonna have that. However, Windows Defender should be disabled when you are running a third party application because you never want two real time scanners running in the background. It'll just slow the performance down to your system tremendously. Yeah. So that's it for that. Um, yeah, so I guess bottom lining this, would I recommend running Windows 10 with no security and just use a default? No. I wouldn't do it personally, but like I said, if, if, you're if not you don't... If you don't go on a lot of other outside sites, yep, you're okay. If you rarely use the PC and you stick to sites that are known to be safe sites, then I would say yes, by all means. You can use the security that is in Windows 7 or Windows 10 and that is perfectly fine and it should suit you well. It's good basic security. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be it for this video, at least for me. I don't know, user, do you want to add anything? No, I, I'm, I said what I wanted. As, as usual, at the end of the video, you're just kind of like, uh, yeah. you talk yeah. over my head, so. Yep, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good Did you like the color? Did you like the green? Was the green nice? No. No, 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 no. you don't like the green? No. I don't no. like the green either. Look like a, look like a baby vomited up pea soup. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, that's it. We're done with the video. All right, see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Um, don't know when it's going to be, obviously. User's going to get his motherboard hopefully tomorrow. And I'm going to be putting that together, so I don't even know if it'll be uploaded tomorrow relative to the date that's on this uh, PC right now. But um, I will definitely try to get it uploaded as soon as possible. So, until next time, guys. Bye. Talk to you later.